Are you brushing daily but still noticing yellow teeth? You're not alone. A lot of us struggle with teeth discoloration, and it can really impact our confidence. But the good news is, you don't need expensive treatments to get that sparkling smile you've always wanted. In this video, we'll explore scientifically proven methods to whiten your teeth at home safely and effectively. We'll delve into the causes of tooth discoloration, debunking some common myths along the way. I'll give you the facts backed by science so you can make informed decisions about your oral health. And don't worry, I'll provide step-by-step -step guidance on effective home whitening techniques that won't harm your enamel. Remember, a healthy smile starts with understanding how to care for your teeth properly. So stick around and let's unlock the secrets to a brighter, more confident you. Okay, let's break down why teeth lose their pearly white shine over time. First, we need to understand the structure of our teeth. The outermost layer, the enamel, is like a protective shield that's naturally white. But here's the thing, enamel is semi-translucent. Underneath that enamel lies dentin, which makes up the bulk of our teeth. Now dentin is naturally yellowish. As we age, our enamel can thin out, and you guessed it, that yellowish dentin becomes more visible. This is a natural part of aging, but certain habits can speed up the process. Think of it like this. Imagine your enamel as a white t-shirt and the dentin as a yellow one underneath. When the white t-shirt is brand new, you only see white. But as it gets thinner and more worn out, you start to see hints of the yellow underneath. What causes this wear and tear on our enamel? Well, a lot of things we eat and drink can stain our teeth. Coffee, tea, red wine, even some berries contain pigments that can cling to our enamel and cause discoloration. Then there's the impact of poor oral hygiene. When we don't brush and floss regularly, plaque builds up on our teeth. Plaque is a sticky film that harbors bacteria, and these bacteria can produce acids that erode enamel, making those yellow hues more prominent. Certain medications like tetracycline antibiotics can also affect tooth color, especially if taken during childhood when teeth are still developing. And let's not forget about genetics. Some people are simply predisposed to having thinner enamel or naturally yellower teeth. But don't despair. Now that we understand the causes of tooth discoloration, we can start exploring ways to combat it effectively. Before we dive into safe and effective teeth whitening methods, let's clear the air about some common myths that could actually harm your teeth. You might have heard about DIY whitening hacks using ingredients from your kitchen. While these might seem natural and appealing, they often lack scientific backing and can do more harm than good. One popular myth is that brushing with baking soda and lemon juice can whiten teeth. Now while it's true that baking soda has mild abrasive properties that can help remove surface stains, combining it with acidic lemon juice is a recipe for disaster. The acid weakens your enamel, making it more susceptible to erosion and sensitivity. Remember, we want to whiten our teeth, not wear them down. Another myth is that activated charcoal can magically brighten your smile. While charcoal is a popular ingredient in face masks and even toothpaste, its effectiveness in teeth whitening is debatable. Charcoal's abrasiveness can actually wear down enamel over time, leading to increased sensitivity and even making your teeth appear more yellow in the long run. The bottom line is, always be cautious of quick fixes and miracle cures. When it comes to your oral health, it's crucial to rely on scientifically proven methods and consult with dental professionals for personalized advice. Now that we've debunked some common myths, let's talk about safe and effective ways to whiten your teeth at home. The key is to look for products that contain hydrogen peroxide as their active ingredient. Hydrogen peroxide is a bleaching agent that can penetrate the enamel and break down those stubborn stains, making your teeth appear brighter. One popular option is over-the-counter whitening strips or gels. These typically contain a lower concentration of hydrogen peroxide, usually between 6% to 10%, and are designed for at-home use. You apply the strips or gels to your teeth for a specific amount of time, usually once a day for 7 to 14 days. It's important to follow the instructions carefully and not overuse them, as excessive use can lead to sensitivity. For a more customized approach, talk to your dentist about at-home whitening trays. Your dentist will take impressions of your teeth and create custom fitted trays that fit snugly over your teeth these trays are then filled with a carbamide peroxide gel which breaks down into hydrogen peroxide you wear these trays for a specific amount of time each day often overnight for several weeks another option for daily maintenance is using whitening toothpaste 
While these toothpastes don't contain high concentrations of peroxide like strips or gels, they often include mild abrasives and low concentrations of hydrogen peroxide to help remove surface stains and prevent new ones from forming. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to teeth whitening. Whether you opt for strips, trays, or whitening toothpaste, regular use as directed will yield the best results. Chapter 4. Oil Pulling for White Teeth Does it really work? You might have heard of oil pulling, an ancient practice that involves swishing oil around in your mouth for several minutes, as a natural way to whiten teeth. While oil pulling has gained popularity in recent years, the evidence supporting its effectiveness in teeth whitening is limited. So, what does the science say? Oil pulling, typically done with coconut oil, is believed to work by removing bacteria and debris from the mouth. Coconut oil contains lauric acid which has antimicrobial properties. When you swish oil around your mouth it can help reduce plaque buildup and improve overall oral hygiene. While oil pulling may contribute to a cleaner mouth and potentially fresher breath, there's no scientific evidence to suggest that it can actually change the color of your teeth. Remember, teeth discoloration is often caused by stains within the enamel or the natural yellowing of dentin, which oil pulling cannot address. If you're considering oil pulling, it's generally considered safe for most people. However, it's important to note that it should not replace your regular oral hygiene routine of brushing and flossing. And if you have any concerns or pre-existing dental conditions, it's always best to consult with your dentist before incorporating oil pulling into your routine. Chapter 5. Keep Your Smile Bright. Daily Habits for Whiter Teeth. Achieving a brighter smile isn't just about whitening treatments, it's also about adopting healthy daily habits that maintain that sparkling whiteness. Think of it as preventative care for your pearly whites. Let's start with our diet. We all know that sugary drinks and snacks are bad for our teeth, but did you know that certain foods and drinks can also stain them? Coffee, tea, red wine, and even some berries contain pigments that can cling to our enamel and cause discoloration over time. Now I'm not saying you have to give up your morning coffee or that occasional glass of red wine completely, but being mindful of how frequently you consume these beverages can make a difference. Try using a straw when drinking beverages that can stain, and rinse your mouth with water after consuming staining foods or drinks. Next up, let's talk about the cornerstone of good oral hygiene, brushing and flossing. Brushing twice a day with fluoride toothpaste is crucial for removing plaque and debris that can lead to staining, and don't forget to floss daily. Flossing removes food particles and plaque from between your teeth, where your toothbrush can't reach. Another simple yet effective habit is scheduling regular dental cleanings. Your dentist and dental hygienist can remove tartar, a hardened form of plaque that can contribute to staining and polish your teeth, leaving them feeling smooth and looking brighter. Chapter 6. When to see your dentist, don't ignore these signs. While home whitening methods can be effective, there are times when it's best to seek professional help from your dentist. If you've tried at-home whitening products and haven't achieved your desired results, your dentist can offer more potent in-office whitening treatments. One common professional treatment is in-office bleaching. This procedure typically involves applying a high-concentration hydrogen peroxide gel to your teeth, combined with a special light or laser that activates the gel and accelerates the whitening process. In-office bleaching can significantly brighten your smile in just one or two sessions. For more severe discoloration or cases where teeth are misshapen or have other cosmetic imperfections, your dentist may recommend veneers. Veneers are thin, custom-made shells that are bonded to the front surface of your teeth, instantly transforming your smile. It's also crucial to consult with your dentist if you experience increased sensitivity during or after using any whitening products. Sensitivity can be a sign of enamel erosion, and it's essential to address this issue promptly to prevent further damage. Remember, your dentist is your partner in achieving and maintaining a healthy, bright smile. Don't hesitate to reach out to them if you have any concerns or questions about teeth whitening or any aspect of your oral health. Chapter 7. Unlock Your Brightest Smile So there you have it, the science-backed guide to achieving a brighter, more confident smile. Remember, effective teeth whitening at home is achievable through scientifically proven methods like hydrogen peroxide-based products and of course good oral hygiene practices. Don't fall for those quick fixes and miracle cures that can actually harm your enamel in the long run. Instead, opt for safe and effective methods, and always consult with your dentist if you have any concerns or questions. 
Now I want to hear from you. Have you tried any teeth whitening methods at home? What were your experiences? Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Outro stay smiling. Guys, I can't stress enough how important it is to take care of your teeth. A healthy smile can boost your confidence and have a positive impact on your overall well-being. Remember, consistency is key. Make those daily habits of brushing, flossing, and using fluoride toothpaste a non-negotiable part of your routine. And don't forget to schedule regular checkups with your dentist. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more evidence-based health and wellness tips. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Stay smiling, everyone.